Welcome to this segment of the Ahondu Iadene Radizahayas update. I believe the last time I did one of these was in September and I had committed to attempting to do them quarterly. Of course, uh, here we are now in, uh, in March and uh, I haven't been able to uh, maintain that. Obviously, um, December with what happened with uh, the COVID outbreak in the community, uh, we did revert back to a state of emergency. Uh, we were operating uh, remotely, and uh, for me personally, I just find it difficult to be doing, uh, you know, recordings on a, on a Zoom or a Teams. I prefer this kind of format. It's a lot easier uh, in terms of an update to the community. So a lot has been going on at the Mohawk Council of Ganawage. I'm sure you see from numerous press releases and uh, news that uh, there's no shortage of work and things that are happening uh, at the council. So for myself specifically, uh, external government relations is the, the primary portfolio, I guess, that uh, I head. Uh, you might have seen that there have been uh, meetings with uh, ministers. Uh, Minister Mark Miller had been in the community. I uh, met with uh, Ian Lafreniere, who is the Minister of Indigenous Affairs for Quebec. And even just yesterday, uh, municipal relation development I met with uh, the prefet of the MRC, which is basically kind of like the chairperson of all of the mayors of the 11 municipalities that are in the, uh, well, I'll say our surrounding neighbors, uh, Chardigui, St. Costan, St. Catherine, Delson, etc. So we agreed to uh, maybe develop a, a relationship framework as well and how we think it's important. Uh, they have projects and developments uh, for their economies and things that they want to do that, of course, impacts our interests, our, our land rights, uh, and so we need to have conversations, so uh, that was important. Also, in, uh, I'll say with uh, nation relations and what that looks like in having, um, you know, conversations with uh, some of the other, uh, I'll say, chiefs or elected officials of other uh, communities, those that comprise the Iroquois caucus, and then looking to even meet internally uh, with uh, representatives of uh, the traditional bodies in the community, looking to engage with even community members. So there's a lot that's been happening and uh, I'm a little bit disappointed, I'll say, in uh, some of the progress that we've been able or not able to make uh, with regard to these uh, relationship uh, developments, uh, more specifically uh, with Quebec. I mean, I know there's some uh, outstanding matters and things that we were trying to get uh, resolution on, uh, cannabis specifically, and haven't been able to get some uh, agreement as well. I was supposed to target meeting with uh, the pr uh, Premier um, Legault and uh, contingent on that was the development of a relationship framework. It's still outstanding. It's still something that's being worked on and hopeful that I'll see some kind of uh, progress in the near future so that we can get the tables rolling. Uh, I believe we have 16 sectoral tables uh, with the province. So there's a lot of interface that has to happen. You know, I, I think a lot of times people are asking, well, why are you having all these uh, meetings with these external governments. Well, there's a lot of overlap in terms of our interests and the things that they're trying to do and uh, consultation is one of them in terms of, you know, like I said, our interests, our rights. So it's important that we have open lines of communication. Same thing with the federal government. I think there's been more traction in terms of uh, getting them uh, to commit to unlocking some of the uh, barriers, I guess, to us getting um, you know, things moving. Same thing, relationship framework is a primary objective that we're trying to get worked out with uh, the federal government. We had asked for the appointment of a minister special representative. It's still outstanding, but it's something that, uh, you know, we're trying to get commitment toward. We had asked them to remove our name from the website as those communities that are engaging in what's called rights and recognition uh, framework tables. And they, uh, they were able to do that because these dialogues that we're having is not that. Ganawage is unique. You know, we're always gonna push for things from our perspective and our principles and values and, you know, those tables of getting uh, under a self-government agreement or anything like that uh, is not um, acceptable to us. So we wanted to make sure that, you know, we wouldn't, weren't putting the wrong uh, perception out there to people that we were engaging in this. 
Uh, you might have seen that the council had recently put out our uh, priorities document. They're not in any order of uh, priority, I'll say. Like, we just highlighted three areas. And one of them, of course, being language and culture. The realization of the new cultural center theater museum project is uh, definitely important and continuing to support all of those entities in the community that are working on the vitalization of Zini Guarihoda and Gowana. So very important, uh, you know, there's been a lot of work over the last uh, four years going into this project. And I think we're actually getting to the point now where uh, things are going to start moving rather quickly. And of course, we're going to be committed to engaging with the community, talking about, <clears throat> I guess, more in depth what the project looks like. We know there was concerns in the past that there was going to be a clear cutting exercise. Absolutely not minimal impact, <clears throat> excuse me, to the trees and the environment, looking at uh, replanting of medicines and certain things like that. Also in ceremony, I mean, this, this new building is gonna be for the community. And it's really important for us to have, you know, something uh, like that to be proud of, essential gathering space where we can do things, uh, you know, that are important, different cultural workshops and seminars, uh, so I'm, I'm really looking forward uh, to this project becoming a reality. So a lot of good work has been going on there. And of course, you know, uh, the overall health and wellness of the community was also identified as a priority. We know uh, there's been a lot that happened in the last uh, two years uh, with COVID and uh, before that, the train blockade. More recently too, the discovery of the original 215 and uh, uh, children in BC, to which now I think is up to almost like 10,000. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of trauma uh, for our people uh, over the centuries. And it's important that we're all doing check-ins with each other and having uh, spaces to, you know, have, have healthy dialogue and conversation about these things and how we're going to move forward as a community uh, in light of all of the knowledge and things that we know now uh, in terms of our history and what has happened to Ungwehungwe people uh, in this country. So there's a lot of uh, work going on and I'll even say in different pockets, different organizations, different community groups, it would be nice to see a concerted effort of people coming together and looking at you know, what we could do, um, different activities as well. I'm so happy to hear that the powwow is going to be coming back this summer. I know, you know, that's something uh, people look forward to annually. So happy to hear that that will be uh, returning. Uh, so yeah, as we start to move uh, back to this space where, you know, the community is, uh, I'll say moving back to a state of normalcy. Like we know, like I said, what happened in uh, December, January uh, with Omicron in the community, but it's nice to see that things are starting to uh, revert back. I know for us as Mohawk Council of Ganawage, we've been, you know, having to uh, meet remotely uh, on Teams or Zoom or different platforms. But definitely what it has shown is that, you know, we can still be effective. We can still, you know, continue to do our, our jobs and roles. I think maybe where we did lack was in terms of being able to engage with the community the way we were used to. So um, there will be a strategic discussion uh, coming up in terms of you know wanting to reinstitute uh, meetings in the community and uh, revising the format based on the governance report that was received. You know people didn't like the old style ban meetings. It was they found it very threatening and that it wasn't conducive to you know coming to really healthy community dialogue. So we'll see in terms of going to the drawing board, but uh, nonetheless, I think the council has been working uh, very well and very effectively together. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy to uh, say that, you know, the, the new uh, elected Radit uh, Zahayas have been, you know, fitting in really well. Uh, we did do an extensive um, onboarding process, I'll say, and, you know, getting them some, some different kind of trainings and, giving them a whole overview of just how extensive the work of the Mohawk Council of Ganawage is with having to deal with you know, local governance, uh, the basic operations of the community, uh, the interface with all of the different organizations, and of course, with all of the external uh, influences that we have um, in governments. So I think uh, overall, things have been going really well. We were supposed to do a portfolio review uh, this past week, but unfortunately we were derailed from that because of other pressing matters that we needed to address. And I'll get into that a little bit right now, and that is with regard to iGaming. 
You might have seen recently that uh, we did a press conference where we announced a, a relationship with uh, Six Nations of the Grand River uh, because them themselves, they had a, um, a gaming commission. It was mostly land-based, you know, looking to partner with them to get into the iGaming. Something, uh, you know, we've been able to build a jurisdiction for 25 years. And recently with a federal bill that passed that allowed now provinces to develop their own jurisdictions. Uh, Ontario is going to be launching their own uh, iGaming initiative come April 4th and basically want Mohawk Online and Sports Interaction brand to become uh, permitted under their jurisdiction, which for us, we have a little bit of problem with if it's going to hold us to certain expectations like uh, remitting uh, portions of our revenues, kind of like a taxation and so forth. So, you know, we've been having to uh, address this and try to come up with a solution. We've been trying to reach out to uh, ministers, to the ministry, uh, of finance in Ontario, and more specifically the AGCO, Alcohol uh, Gaming Commission of Ontario, to try to get some kind of recognition or carve out for Ganawage specifically. And we haven't been able to get to the table, unfortunately, and April 4th is gonna come uh, very quick. So that's where a lot of our focus had to uh, divert to. But uh, nonetheless, you know, there's, there's a lot going on. <laughs> I could probably do an update here for about an hour. Um, you know, so keep tabs on, um, you know, different things that are going to be coming up. Obviously, we know there's going to be an important community decision uh, with regard to the remains of the late uh, Leon Lejoie that's uh, at the, um, the church at Current. So on March 25th and 26th, I believe there will be a community decision. Uh, the investigative report uh, is going to be circulated so people could also have that. Uh, the survey results so you know for everybody to get informed and make an informed decision uh, with regard to that and uh, yeah so needless to say there's no shortage of work uh, I'm extremely busy but you know what I'm really uh, up for the challenge I've really been enjoying uh, the work thus far and um, so yeah just uh, now everybody for for tuning in today and as usual uh, if there's ever any questions you have about any things that are, are going on within the uh, workings of the Mohawk Council of Ganawage, please do not hesitate to, to reach out to us. And uh, with that, we look to see you in the spring in some community engagement sessions. And uh, until next time, take care. Onigiwahi.